The M9 9mm pistol is used for self-defense. This tape will show how this semi-automatic pistol uses feeding, chambering, locking, firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, and cocking in its cycle of functioning. It holds a 15-round magazine, and once a round is chambered and the pistol fired, expanding gases force the projectile out of the barrel and push the barrel and slide to the rear. Upward pressure kept on the rounds by the magazine spray and the forward movement of the slide will force a new round into the chamber. Shown in the double action firing mode, the trigger pulls the trigger bar forward. This pulls the bottom of the hammer and the round is fired. Gases push the barrel and slide to the rear. The weapon is ready to fire again in the single action mode. The hammer is fully cocked to the rear. Pivoting on the headed trigger pin, the trigger pulls forward on the trigger bar. As the bar is pulled forward, it pushes on the foot of the firing pin lock release lever. This forces the top of the lever to lift the firing pin block. As the trigger is squeezed, the mainspring expands, pushing the hammer forward. The trigger bar lug pulls the sear forward, disengaging it from the notch in the hammer. The mainspring expands and the strut is pushed upward. The hammer pivots on the headed hammer pin. The hammer hits the firing pin striker, which hits the firing pin, forcing it forward, aligning the firing pin block as it lifts with the cutout portion of the firing pin. The firing pin spring is compressed each time the striker hits the firing pin and forces it forward. When the pistol is fired, the barrel and slide move to the rear. The locking block plunger cams the locking block down, disengaging the barrel from the slide. Unlocking is complete when the barrel stops its rearward movement. The hook of the extractor grips the rim of the cartridge case and pulls the case from the chamber. As the breech face passes the ejector, the cartridge case is pushed from the breech face by the ejector. The M9 9mm pistol contains many components that work sequentially allowing the weapon to fire each time the trigger is pulled and a cartridge is present. There are three safety devices on the M9 9mm pistol. The safety decocking lever will prevent the trigger from firing the weapon when the lever is rotated down. This causes the firing pin striker to be out of line with the firing pin. The firing pin block prevents accidental firing when the weapon is dropped. When the trigger is pulled, the trigger bar is pulled forward. The trigger bar will push forward on the firing pin block lever foot and the firing pin block lever will pivot to push up on the firing pin block so that the firing pin is free for forward movement. The extractor indicates when the chamber is loaded. When a cartridge is present in the chamber, the extractor will protrude slightly from its recess in the slide. Its red painted portion will be exposed. In the dark, the protrusion can be felt by touch. Before handling the M9 9mm pistol, you must always follow safety precautions. Always clear the weapon. Never aim or point at anyone without intent. Always keep fingers and hands from inside the receiver. To fully understand the operation of the M9, you must know the eight steps in the cycle of function. Feeding, chambering, locking, firing, unlocking, extracting, ejecting, and cocking. If you have any questions about the functioning of the M9 9mm pistol, 
refer to the appropriate technical manual.